what is the power of creation? You must understand, your power of creation is your ability to manipulate information, inform it, create it in another way or something similar. But you're creating something else all the time. You must understand. You are creating reality every single second. The totality of who you are is as if you are on if you can pause your life and see each frame of that, um, you know, of that frame of that video, you will have so many different realities you could have created. You must understand your power of creation stems within you. It's your ability to understand. It's your ability to execute. It's your ability to persevere, to grow, to advance. Your power of creation truly is the totality of your potential. Being here in existence is your potential of existence. Your power of creation stems from your possibilities. And there's three main focuses that you must understand to truly grasp your power of creation. You must understand reality, yourself, in your interactions within it. You must understand reality, yourself, and the interactions of yourself interacting with reality. Whew. Once you understand this, because understand, those infinite and eternal possibilities you can take, why is this? Because knowledge, wisdom, information itself, has infinite and eternal value for it exists regardless if you exist here or not and you have infinite choices to make with it devoid of the ether you must understand you must persevere and conceptualize that we live in a world of infinite information that has eternal value for it will exist tomorrow, it existed 500 years ago, it's going to exist a thousand years ago. Information cannot just die, even if the physical incarnation, just as this book. This book was created, it was formed from paper and other materials into a book. And this book had so many forms. It's so many forms that of the shapes the book could have took. It's so many different different forms of the color, of the paper. There's so many things you can create and manipulate to various degrees using your power of creation and form something new. For the conceptuality of information exists and you simply tap into the conceptuality, pull it down into this realm and form it with your own two hands. This is how you understand the thing and advance your knowledge and understanding. Your power of creation, it stems from things unknown, seen and unseen forces working together. You know, the first, you know, before a book was made, no one knew a book was going to be made. Someone had to think of our creations. We had to think of this cup. We have to think of ideas and physicality. For we form it. Obviously, physicality already existed. That's why we exist. We are one with physicality because we are physicality. Without everything existing, we could not exist. We coexist with these things and characteristics. God has gifted you the power of creation so you may understand the force that he has given you. We were destined, designed to be the co-creators, rulers of this very world given domain and power over those more ignorant than us. A plant is more ignorant. It cannot express anything except the most simple characteristics of itself. You know, plants are very complex, don't get me wrong, but not even close to us because we're not only the form, we are the form and formless at the same time. You are form and form at the same time. Understand, your mind is more tie-dimensional. It exists in other dimensions and realities. This very moment, heaven on earth existed 
for you can mentally be in heaven and physically be on earth. Two realms at the same time, multiple even depending on the possibilities and potentials of your very mind. You interdimensionally travel to other realms using your power of creation. Keep in mind, this entire time, it's your power of creation doing this. It's your will doing this. It's you who's doing this in met a uh, uh, creation for it's your free will and your very soul in every moment you express and you experience <sighs> the mind the akashic records the other dimensions all these different names for it hall of knowledge it's simply a dimension that's all around us you may call it the information dimension for information is all around us, exists, we cannot escape it. It is the totality and it creates continuously for it's infinite and it's eternal. That's why we have energetic information. We have information that has embedded information within it. A cat will act like a cat because it's a feline. They, why, have you, why can you take a house cat and see the same characteristics of a cat in the wild? Well, when they, when they both have different environments for they express the same predominant information within them like we do human beings you can see lust jealousy joy courageousness we had those possibilities because we were human plants can't have that possibility to be righteous it, 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 if, if not impossible if not probable you must understand your power of creation is your ability to interact with information and form it in a way that best suits you. We created chairs, we created beds, pillows, because we want, we created things that suit us. There's not too many gorilla chairs or gorilla beds or, or, or uh, vacations for fish because we are not creating anything other than things for ourselves. Shh. Of course we do create bonds and things, but most of the time, if not all the time, we do it because it benefits us. Your power of creation is your mentality, your physicality, and your spirit. You, the, 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 the fact that you have dominion over this world and this reality, not totality, you have divine laws, you must stay within the box, but within that box you hold so much potential. You must understand this, your power of creation. It's the totality of who you are experiencing, existing with infinite and eternal possibilities within your very existence. You have so many, I could go left, I could go right, left, right, but I could do either and stay right here. I have, I could jump, I could do so many different infinite things. Micro, it gets so in the quantum level, it gets so, numbers become large. Reality stops working the way we want because macro quantum please understand your power of creation is your ability your ability to interact with information in an infinite and eternal world of information you may call god source you know it all everything you all everything you can be everything you're tired of your name everything is information applied energetic information that is creating the information is bending the energy to form possibilities, circumstances, laws, all these things coming into fruition from a conceptual world. We don't know why the air exists. We could we could you could take you could say the reason and what it does. You don't ultimately know why it exists. Only one person, and that's the creator, truly knows why it made clouds or divine laws or time. We don't understand. Your power of creation gives you so much potential for you were made in the likeness of God. Remember that. You were made in the likeness of God. Likeness. Not the reflection, the likeness, the ability and potential holds within you for you are a minor reflection of the grandest of the Lord's. All praise, soul. Know thyself. 
to truly tap into your power of creation, you must know thyself. You must, you must know who you are. You must know who you are. You must be able to see your reflection and see your infinite and eternal self. You must be able to see your reflection and understand that you are infinite and eternal. You must have forgotten who you were. You must have forgotten your potential. Know thyself. Look at who you are. This is a body. You are more than the body. Just a body. I can move it to my will. What do you mean I'm just the body? I'm conceptually thinking of something, moving up or down with my hands, and it begins. The body, just the body. So it's the body, self-realizing the body. Know thyself. The mind, chemicals, understand those interactions of the mind are simply the physicality becoming actuality through the spirituality. I'll say that one more time. The physicality being manifested by the actuality is the spirituality. You must understand that things occur on this plane due to your own interactions, your own thoughts. You interact with who you are interact with your power of creation and begins to manifest circumstances, possibilities, outcomes that align with who you believe to be. If you believe you're a loser, you're a loser. If you believe you're a winner, you're a winner. Your own mind, your multi-dimensional mind, interacts with this world's knowledge and information, energetic information that forms and manifests your being onto the planet within divine law. If I want to fly, of course I would love to be Superman and fly in the sky. But I can't get on an airplane. I could forge earth and materials into a mechanism that can soar through the sky that's already have happened. The grandest creators are the ones who are creating from their hearts. The ones who know thy heart, the living Bible is within your heart. It's your story. It's your being. It's who you are. Can you, can you cast the largest shadow? Can you become a, a, a known, acclaimed? Could you be expressed as beautiful? Your energetic information, manifested form, that has infinite and eternal possibilities and value imprinted on them for they exist. You must know thyself. You must know your energy, who you are, your mission, your will, who you are. Know thyself. You are more than human, more than the body. No matter what anyone says. For they can say all these things. When you know thyself, you are connected to infinite and infinite value and eternal excellence of information of this world. They can't say you are not infinite when you can think of endless possibilities constantly given within divine law. You are connected to infinite variations of, of eternal information. And keep in mind, you are information. So you yourself in the totality is eternal.
your imagination, your mentality. We treat imagination as if it's for kids or it's, it, it, it's an immature conversation. I don't see too many people talk about their imaginations, the things they would like to create if they could create. I don't see too many people sit down and, and say, let's get out a piece of paper and let's try to forge something in our minds, in our imagination and put it on paper and see what we create, something new not seen before. You know, you must truly, truly know yourself and you will know the imaginations that would take place. And those imaginations, the things you're thought, thought and thinking will interact with your power of creation and you will start to manifest and form things within divine law. Imaginations are extremely important. The more information you consume, it's funny. You would think with imagination, the more information you consume, the more mature you be, that your imagination will actually extend and will start to go further into the ether, further towards the land of conceptuality and unknown and unseen to collect ideas that we have yet to know and understand and even interact with those information that exists right now that we are far away from. That's what the evolution is. That's what advancement is. That's what technological pr prowess is. Finding out information and then interacting with it, manipulating it through our imagination. We have to think of it. We have. We have, and the thing is, the more complex the world be, the more we need our minds. We need to be able to understand mentality and the possibility of information processing and interacting through our imagination. We must, that's what a seer did. That's what people who, who know uh, uh, information that may not, should know it's because their imagination is connected to the ether the akashic records the infinite realm and that imagination is interacting and taking information from that realm and bringing it to you and then that information may now be expressed in this realm What's really scary, and people need to really understand and focus on, is that information is alive. Information has desires, and it has, it has personified traits. That one we need to understand. Hatred, hatred, the pure energy of hatred can become manifested with someone like the god of, of war or battle. Rage can be manifested into, into a person, into an animal, into a, into a thing. You know, you could say something that would exhibit traits that's only needed to exhibit very aggressive behavior is getting its power and has become a manifested personification of anger. Like, you can see some, you, you, I know you see people who just look like they want to fight or look like they be good fighters. Or, or look like they're the, uh, 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 very nice guys. They have information, predetermined information within them. And it's linked to their imagination because your imagination is only going to go where your mind goes. Right? And your mind is only going to go where you direct it to go. Now, of course, your mind can be manipulated, it can be led astray, it can be influenced, but ultimately, it's because of you. Your imagination will will only go as so far as your mental understanding uh, um, can accept and can interact with. Someone who's never understood algebra, even if they've been studying addition and subtraction, maybe they can get to algebra. That's, you know, it's hard for them to, to cut that gap without anything in between. But what I will say is once you can really become mental, have mental fortitude, you'll be able to travel through realms that you've not seen before.
mental link to the unseen. Your mind, once again, is connected interdimensionally to other realms of existence, other dimensions that exist all around us that we simply cannot see. Does not mean it's not real. If I could go left or go right, both of these are real possibilities. But if I go right, is that just as real as left or more real? Since I'm experiencing going right, you must be able to think. Yes, to you and your experience and the people around you, when you went right, when you went right, you were right. That's the reality you are experiencing when you went right. But going left was a very, very real possibility that simply did not get chosen at that moment. And now, yes, he can always go left, but that, does, that will never solve the very fact that at that moment he went left. He can't go back in time. We can't get that moment back. We can't do it. So because we can never get that moment back, we must understand that you are creating reality and you have a mental link to be able to, be able to reality shift based on your understanding and execution of conceptuality in reality. I told you before, know thyself, know your reality, know your interactions of it and in it, and then if you know the interactions, you're really understanding your possibilities in the world. And then you can see them. And then you will begin to choose what's best for you. And because you understand the bigger picture, even when you're at low moments, when you're at moments that make you want to quit, you already mentally understand the information exists that you can get through it. If you can picture it mentally, it can become a probability. You must understand. Once you understand your possibilities, you become into probabilities. You are so strong. And not only that, we have our power of creation is so strong that it shakes the very fabrics of existence. For when we choose, we are choosing to go to another realm with other possibilities. When I went left, the possibilities exist now for me of me going left. And it doesn't matter if I choose right because in that moment, it would never change. We cannot go back in time. If we could, that would create even more possibilities. But we are moving forward as we experience this world. Our mental link creates circumstances, possibilities, and outcomes based on our understanding of our power of creation, interacting with our mind, with the knowledge we have within. And if we acquire wisdom, wisdom, if you, enter, if you download wisdom into your power of creation, so you can create possibilities, outcomes, circumstances based on that wisdom and your power of creation, you will start to see the world change. For the world is being manifested in your very eyes. For you have the power of creation and you're using wisdom, wisdom as its operating system, as its basis and foundation to uh, interact with this world. That means that you will move differently, you will, you will eat differently, you will understand what choices and possibilities to take. It will lead you to your destiny, led it by your heart. You're going to choose things that are truly for you and not for others. Know thyself. You have a mental ability to interact with your power of creation that is interacting with all of reality, mind, heart, manifested. Please understand, you have a control of reality that you have never truly understood. You may manipulate reality towards your very will at the highest levels, for you are a manifested version of source. Whew. 
you must attain reality alignment. What is reality alignment? This is what reality alignment is. And I'm sorry I have to say it again, but once you understand who you are, know thyself, the world you're in, the reality, the divine law, and your interactions within it, well, if you didn't understand your reality that you're in, and then conceptually the possibilities, the only reason that you will understand the possibilities of the world is because you're, and if those possibilities are true, and you're not, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, then you are gaining reality alignment because you are moving in, in flow with the universe, not against it. You're going downstream. You're not going upstream and fighting against it. You are understanding that there are powers, forces, energetic information that's manifested here to keep order and to keep balance of the universe that we cannot overcome. I can't overcome gravity. I can't overcome that I exist and just, boom, I snap my fingers and I'm gone. No. You know, I, I can't fly. I, I want to fly, I can't do it. So you must know that there are things that you that are not possible for you to express. We must understand two things, fiction and nonfiction. You must understand reality alignment. Fiction is simply reality unexpressed or characteristics of reality unexpressed. And nonfiction is things of reality that can be expressed. But once again, just because it can't be expressed here, does that make it not real? Well, yes, it makes it not real in our universe, in our reality. But we gain that information from somewhere else. That information exists. It doesn't matter if you're talking about a, a, a bear or a character that was created for a cartoon. Both of those pieces of information exist. One just happens to exist at a greater severity than the other. This one I can hold up but it's still not real. Like, I, I can hold up a, a, a teddy bear and it's not real. It, it's not, it doesn't have sentience. It's not alive. It's, it's a manifested form, physicality, that was created by human hands. Which, but, the information itself is real. Non-fiction or fiction. Take what information, what wisdom you can extract from all information. If you're reading a comic book or you're watching the news, try to extract whatever information that you can form into wisdom and take that wisdom within you, absorb it, integrate it. Because you are now understanding reality alignment. When you interact with your world and you learn from it and you advance, you are learning how to move. You are learning the rules of the game. You are learning what choices are real for you but what and what choices are not. You are understanding how to move within the game. You are learning your character. You are building your extensions and foundations of who you are and what you will leave in the world. It's very interesting because, yes, we have people who wish to be something else or wish the world to be that. They're living in delusion. If you want to really gain power and you really want to gain uh, improvement and, and excellence and righteousness, you must need, you need to understand the world you're in is just as important as who you are. Because if you lose in touch with either one, you will become lost, ignorant, fallen, defeated. But if you gain the ability to break that veil, break that very ignorance stopping you from achieving infinite, eternal, immortality, power, excellence, wisdom, truth, joy. Break your self-imposed matrix and you will gain. And then it's going to be hard, but you need, once you break it, you need to learn and understand the world you're in and what things are possible and what circumstances and possibilities exist if you execute certain manifested information within your mind, how they will interact. Understand reality of life. <sighs> you 
God with me. God within. You are the reflection of God. Didn't I say ye are gods? <sighs> Understand, the power of creation exists within who you are. It exists in your being. But what is actually the power of creation? Well, it's the God within you. The power of creation, the potential is source. It's God within. The very fact you have a mind and you can manifest anything, create anything, interact, is because the creator extended its power to create onto us. We are the creators. We didn't create ourselves, our sentience. The sentience this form, this finite form has, is not the totality of the entity of God source in this realm or in all realms. But I am a reflection, a very extremely lowered form, a finite form limited by the very world I was created in. So you must know that you have the power to co-create in a world that was, was not created by you. But then people would say, well, I don't understand that. The potential of God exists within you. It's that simple. It exists within all of us. And we are all using it, for we can never turn it off. But it's up to us how we form information, energetic information that exists here through our power of creation, which is all God within, using our imagination to access the Akashic mental realm, to manifest that information into this world. All of that, the totality of existence is God. And God creates you so it may understand its awesomeness into this world. It may understand how amazing it is to go from God totality to finite God to infinite God once more. You are God within, and you simply have forgotten. I know thyself, I know my soul, and I understand what I am, for I am infinite and I am eternal. So are you. For your information, your energetic information, will exist forever and eternally more. For God holds you in his hand, holds you within itself, your energetic information, once created, exists forever, infinitely and eternally. Yes, physically my body can perish, but what I truly am my information itself cannot be destroyed. And then my energetic information cannot be destroyed. Nothing can be destroyed, only different forms. A reality where I live and a reality where I die. Either way, a reality created more than likely by my choice. We must understand. That reality is created within our potential to co-create and interact with this world and the things within it. And our minds are used as a mechanism to interact with, in, with information that exists through other dimensions and worlds. It, information ex in itself exists multi-dimensionally in all worlds. The, the, the realm of the information dimension exists in all galaxies, universes, realities, dimensions, forevermore, infinitely, and eternally. Ooh.
Well, well, well. In closing, you must understand your power of creation. And when you know thyself, direct your imagination. Understand your seen ability and how it un how it interacts and has dominion over unseen forces. Your mind is a mental link to forces unseen but dimensionally interacting with information in ways that you cannot but comprehend, infinitely and eternally, at all times. <sighs> Reality aligning will be very useful for you to not lose yourself on your mental travels to other realms. Or you can get very lost when you travel into your mind. For it's not your mind. It's your mind reflective of the greater reflection of information that exists. But it's just simply how much knowledge you have attained, interacted with, and came to conclusions with. And now they're playing within who you are as a being. Your mind can get lost in this realm. Your mind may go down doors that can scar you, abuse you, and break you if you're not ready for it. You need to be careful, for you can lose yourself, and then those in the reality you physically exist in will see you and not understand what's happening. When, in very fact though, you have lost your mind in another world, and your body has been left there. Attached, but detached. Gone and gone. And unfortunately, you are choosing to go back to this realm constantly. You may get lost, but there are some who, some who are lost within the very realm. They choose to take drugs or, the, or to take substances substances <laughs> to make their mind go astray, make it think differently, make it connect to different realms, to bring back information from those realms that that physical interaction allows them to go. People drink alcohol because it makes their mind wonder, soften down, slow down, change to interact with information differently. You must know reality aligning. For when you lose yourself, if you know that yes, you are infinite, yes, you are eternal, yes, you are powerful, yes, you are spiritual, yes, you are spirit, yes, you are a body, yes, you are mind, but you're even more than that. You can lose yourself in your mental travel. So try to always keep bookmarks, reminders that no matter which what you really are that right that you exist infinitely in a finite form. You are divine autonomy. You exist finite but infinitely at the same time. You must anchor yourself that you are human right now. You're a human. You're many forms, infinite. And you can travel to many different pathways to your energetic information. But ultimately, you are a human that has infinite information embedded within them. You can lose yourself. You can make you think that this is why people um, get in professions and they surround themselves and submerge themselves in the information of that profession. If you're a cop, if you're a, a lawyer, if you're a, a, a teacher, you there are people who can embody that form extremely well and have creating characterizations of that said character into our world, you know? Um, and then it creates these, these self-imposed rules of obligation to interact with that said character. 
and you're trapping yourself in your own mind. You matrix yourself. In the very matrix, you create another form of matrix, self-imposed into yourself to play that character, knowing that you are so much more. You must understand reality alignment and know that, yes, I am on Earth, but I'm also infinitely, eternally excellent and great and righteous and divinely gifted and blessed. All those things and more. But I'm human. And there are certain laws that I have to abide by. For you are God within. But something you need to understand, the box. You need to understand the reality, the rules of the games that to play. For you are playing the great game, but you need to understand your rules of the world you're in. If you don't understand it, then you're not going to be able to play the game well. You're not going to be able to execute the game well and get favorable outcomes. You're playing human wrong if you're doing terrible. And those certain rules, have you never played a game? And if you do things that don't make sense to the game, you won't proceed very far. But once you start to move with your reality, move with the game is telling you to keep going straight for your next mission or for your next progress or for, for your next quest. You can't say, no, I'm gonna go the other way, but I expect the results as if I completed the quest and I'm not even aiming or interacting or going towards the quest or going towards your next destination in life. You need to understand all things that be. You need to understand that you are God within, for you have the potential of a dominion creator that has power over reality, that extends far beyond infinite and eternal value to depths of that we do not understand. That you hold so much potential within you because you hold the power of creation within your very soul, your heart, your being, your mind, your expressions, your interactions, all things. You are the creator, but you are only the creator because you were given dominion over this world. So it may see itself manifested form, God, divine manifested form, to interact with the world and see how will God fend off in a world created by God. How will God defend against God? Also, the Holy Trinity, the Mother, the Father, the Son. The Father is the energetic information that exists that exists within the void, that that has infinite and eternal value within all information, and we have a minor reflection of this through our minds. The Mother is information, wisdom, knowledge. It's God's divine knowledge that creates, that takes the energy, and it emb embeds it with information to create energetic information, which is in which is energy taken form due to the information embedded within it. And the sun is a divine reflection of God. That's why it's called the sun. It's a divine reflection of God that interacts with the mother and the father, the information and the energy. God is the energy. The mother is information, and it created a son, with, which is information manifested form. That is the reflection of the Almighty Lord. Not in ways of physicality of our reflection, but in ways of our possibility, of our dominion over the world in lower form. God has dominion over the totality of existence. We have somewhat dominion over this world. I can move this table. I can whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I have dominion over this table. You could say animals could possibly have the same dominion, but they have it at far less degrees. Know who you are and know what God's source has gifted upon you. For you have the power of creation and you hold the potential of source within your very hand. All praise.